Shalom, Israel. Good morning, believers. <clears throat> J.D. Nija. Huntington Beach, California. Here with a message of edification from the Bible, Word of Truth. Coffee with J.D. Nija. Good morning. Uh, good morning, good morning. All right, well, if you saw the last video or two, I had a meltdown <laughs> a little bit. Um, there was a lot of things that I didn't plan for when I started this YouTube channel. And was, was, one was the fact that as a, as a Caucasian guy, or so they say, I, um, I don't feel Caucasian. Um, I believe I'm a, um, Hebrew because the Lord told me I was a Hebrew And um, just to be blessed with a direct communication with my power. I don't know if some people are think I'm crazy. People think I'm arrogant, egotistical, out of my mind. I'm not sure. But either way, I can't give up on my belief system. Because that's, in these crazy times, um, to believe the things that this world tells you is, is pure folly. Because they lie to us so much that it's obvious that they, um, they aren't your friend. But that's up to you. If you want to be friends with the world, that's your issue. So I'm going to go back to my reality because I have to get myself grounded again because to see the nonsense that people watch on YouTube, um, a lot of it is pandering and ass kissing, brown nosing, butt licking, whatever you want to call it. You got a bunch of pals out there, personal ass lickers. I'm not here to lick any ass, so I figure that's part of the reason why I don't have a, anybody even listening, hardly. So I'm just doing this for my Lord, basically, and for myself. So I'm going to get back to where I started. My friend told me, just go back, you know, where it all started, and she made me laugh because, um, man, where it all started... You know, I could go on and on about stuff that most people don't know. And they're not going to trust me because I don't have the credentials or I don't have the look or I'm not black. <laughs> Fucking black Hebrew Israelites. Those fuckers have shown their colors. Man. They take something that's pretty pure and cool, like that the name of the Heavenly Father is not... Cheese and rice. His name can't be cheese and rice because there was no J. There was no J in the lexicon when Yahweh I walked the earth. It, I mean, the book talks about calling on the name, on the name, on the name. It's if you're calling on the wrong name, you're not going to have any power. Period. And Yahweh, it might be, it, we're not even supposed to say his name. In the Tetragrammaton, it was just some letters because until Yahweh Shai came, there was no reason to call on the name. We, we just called him the Most High, um, the Heavenly Father or whatever it was back then. But 
we knew, we all knew it was because he existed, um, because he told Moses. You know, they, Moses said, "What do I tell him? Who do I tell him sent sent me?" And the Lord said, "Tell him, I am sent you." So basically, what he's saying was, um, just like we are breathing breath of life creatures, um, we came from a breath of life creature and a an existent creature. So, um, that being said, um, he gave me Psalm 73 back when he told me I was a Hebrew and, uh, as time goes on, I realized through reading this, this scripture, um, new things, or it, it, it gets more depth as time goes on. I, I become more aware of the depth of what some of these things that were said. So I'm just going to read it because that's what I do every morning. I read the Bible. If you want to be here and, and listen to me read the Bible and be edified and blessed, hit the subscri subscribe button. You know, I have 500 videos now and I only have 39 subscribers. And I'm not retarded. I'm not, I'm not like, can't talk um, or can't read. Like, it's not like I'm stumbling over my words. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. But that just might be the, um, uh, the way the world is now. That's the... Um, mode of the fight there's not there's there's no one uh people are more worried about paying their rent right now but anyway uh psalm 73 prosperity of the wicked a psalm of asaph um truly god is good to israel so when he told me i was of judah of, of benjamin um at the time i knew that was of the tribes and you know, Israel, in my mind, was still those um, 1948ers over there. So now that I know that that's a false dichotomy, that's that's something strange. I'm not I'm not going to claim what it is or isn't, but it's it it's not doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> um, truly, God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Clean heart is pure. So when you look at me, um, I'm not out for to get any money. I, I don't want to monetize. I don't want to get um, a bunch of subscribers so I can make money. I would like to get a bunch of subscribers so I could go live and actually... Um, talk to my my people but I at this point I'm never I'm never gonna get there and that's why you know I'm not gonna go on the comment board and 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 argue or, or fight or if you have a question um, I, I, I imagine the first question would be why are you doing this JD Nija it's because I'm I'm just a servant and I'm trying to get people to understand there's certain things that you're going to need to to be and know and to um, to be saved. And, and man, we have a lot of Christians. Christians, you know, they, they know a little bit and they know a lot. And some of them have really good hearts and they're probably Israel. But they're, they're mucking around in some, some of these um, churches that are just basically wasting their time so um but as for me my feet were almost gone my steps had well nigh slipped i'm i'm at that point now where i'm i'm getting really close to saying um screw edifying anyone <clears throat> and um that hurts because i i take this i take this really seriously um, for I was envious at the foolish 
when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. So last night I was watching some YouTube videos and in um, instead of people being able to tell the difference between um, a true prophet, a true believer, and these people that know how to do YouTube algorithms and um, game the system and and pushing so hard to be a YouTube celebrity or whatever they're doing. You know, with the with the thumbnail with the big bold red letters. You know it's it's definitely get your attention, but that's the first clue that they're um that they're gaming you. They're they're playing off your um Laminosity, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Um, if you're willing to, to sell yourself out to this devil and to his evil kingdom here, if you're willing to do that, um, you won't, th this kingdom will take care of you. And so when the Lord gave me this psalm, what was it? 20 years ago, 22 years ago, I was like, I like it. It's pretty cool. I didn't understand all of it, but I understood the, um, the, the point of the difference between the wicked and the righteous, because this is why he gave me this the psalm so that I could put it in my heart and my mind that I can't cry over the loss of any of you wicked people. And I'm at that point now. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get closer to my Lord. And there'll, there'll, there'll probably be a time when um, I'm, I have no doubt that... I'm going to be rewarded for um, being a friend of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is my brother. He's my savior. He's my deliverer. I don't know what, what you're going to do when this ship caves in, but I'm not I'm not really worried about it because it's, all, it's already been shitty. It can't get much shittier. This place, bogus. Therefore, pride compass, compasses them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Um, the garment usually talks about your um, belief system. So they're these wicked people. Their belief system is is based in violence and wickedness. That's why you see so much violence increasing in the world. Is because wicked people ride on violence. The Edomites took this country over from our people with violence. And that's a fact. You can you can bullshit around and tell me how proud you are of manifest destiny and oh the we we conquered uh, it was just a bunch of uh, heathen uh, barbarians running around in in sheepskins and blah blah blah. We had to uh, straighten them out because they were uh, bullshit. This place was paradise before. Uh, Cristobal Colon came over here and started all this nonsense. Disease, pestilence, violence, war, death, hangings. It disgusts me to not have more people going, this guy's talking the right shit. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt. And speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They are so proud in their Biden, Bush. They laugh. They smirk in your face and tell you lies. But if you're wicked, you fall right into that. You're either for these wicked fuckers or you're for those wicked fuckers. And I'm not sorry for my language. Fuck.
fuck all you that can't understand. I'm done. I'm done with the kid gloves. That didn't work. Put my put my put my Lord's words out here. Not not all this nonsense. Cardi B and Doja Cat and all this. Anyway, um, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. These are people that are just looking to draw people into the world away from the Lord, from the, the Most High. Yeah. That's what their goal is. They're going to twist all the words so that it fits their little narrative. And it's, it's pathetic because we've been so brainwashed, at least most of us, that we believe, we believe their, their bullshit because someday we want to be able to talk the bullshit and everyone believe our bullshit. I'm not going to talk bullshit. I'm talking the word of truth. Therefore, his people return hither, and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. Yep. You're going the wrong way, people. And they say, how does God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Oh yeah, he knows. He knows everything that's going on. You, do you worry about Santa Claus, who's naughty and nice? This isn't the Satan Satan Claus. This is this is the Most High. This is this is the power of the universe, the universe, the cosmos. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world; they increase in riches. So, <clears throat> do you think the Lord gave me this? Message? Why? Why do you think he gave me this message? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. I would. I would say somebody. Anyone know why he gave me that message? Behold, these are the ungodly who's pro who prosper in the world. See what it says about prosper. Teaching the Bible to people that are are always at ease. always at ease because this world fits their sick mindset perfectly this isn't enough for me I don't know this is your rest cheers to your rest it's going down I know I'm the bearer of bad news but the good news is, is if you um, understand what I'm saying, if we all knew that this place was the junkyard it is, we would clean it up. But people think this is great. Just great. It's not great. How's he say it? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. So um, who's who's got all the views? Who's got all the money? Who's got all of it? The people that are telling lies. The wicked. That's why the Lord gave me that. This. Let me see how much time I got. Oh. Still got some time to rant. I'm going to try and get this done. In 30 minutes. I don't have time to be teaching nobody anymore. I'm going to ride on myself. I got to ride on, ride on. Some say could them, could them. Some say would they, would they. Siggy so says, nope, we got to ride on, ride on. Don't worry about them, is what he's saying. Just get on your horse and keep moving. Don't look back. Don't be a pillar of salt like Lot's wife. <sighs> the chastening of the righteous. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. For all the day long, I have been plagued and chastened every morning. So, every morning, every morning I sit here 
and tell you the word of truth, the breath of life. I'm trying to breathe life into your dead spirit. And what do I get for it? Heartache, chastening, pain. You know why? Because no one believes the truth. This is true love. This is true love. This is love. But you wouldn't recognize love if, if you tasted it because you've been taught that it's a box of candies and some flowers or a ring or a car or a house or whatever. A dinner on the town. Um, dancing by moonlight. I don't know what you call love. That's not it. So what's happening for me is chastening every morning. Every morning I do this. And if you were smart, you'd be chastened by what I'm saying. You would sit here and go, that fucker's right. I hate to say it. How does that fucking dumb surfer know? I know. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of my children. When I thought to know this, I was it was too painful for me. So the pain that I'm getting, the Lord told me it's gonna it's gonna hurt. You're gonna speak. You're gonna breathe life. It says it right there. I will speak thus. If I say I will breathe life, behold, I should offend against the generation of your children. People are offended by this by this truth. It says it right there. I would offend. What's it say? I should offend. 15. I would have been untrue to the children. I would have been lying. If I'm not saying the truth and I don't have um, this chastening in my heart to, to tell you the truth, I would be lying. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the children of your generation. Those are the children of Israel. Israel, the people with pure hearts. When I thought, when I thought to know this, I w it was too painful for me. Do you know how much agony I go through, knowing that I have this beautiful, beautiful gift and I'm trying to give it away who said it um, love 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 you can't give it away psychedelic first Richard Butler psychedelic first and love 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 you can't give it away he knows he's a poet Can't give this, you can't give love away. People don't want it. They're wicked, evil, violent. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh Power, then understood I therein. Who gets to go into the sanctuary? Anybody know? Do you think anyone could just walk in there? They call the sanctuary at the Plantation Christianity the place where you get the message, right? Well, the fact of the matter is the sanctuary is more sacred than that. It's not just any place where you get the message. It's where you get the right message. And the right message is Yahweh doesn't love everybody. And so when Asaph went into the sanctuary, like I've been in the sanctuary, I realized the message that came to me, the truth, the message, the reality is everybody. 
Because the wicked are going to get... They're going to get destroyed. And, um... I don't know. I there's no way to there's no way to change things. So my goal now is to just tell you straight up and just be the fucker I am. Cause I gotta learn. I gotta get. I gotta get cold. I gotta get cold on this shit. Otherwise, I'm gonna drive myself crazy. And so I'm I'm reading this one today because last night I was so vexed in my spirit, knowing that even. Even people I know shun me. Even people I know don't want to be around me because they don't want to hear the truth. And I'm, I'm, I'm not backing down. I'm not going to turn around. What's it say? They turned around. And they had to, they had to drink a cup of fucking... Rung out to them. Rung out to them. A full cup is rung out to them. Ten. Drained by them. They're going to have to drink... These people that push my hand away and turn their shoulder to me don't think they're not going to have to drink that full cup. Therefore, as people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. Probably going to do a little second one. Cause I'm having fun. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out, out here and be a dick. I've tried, I've tried this. I've tried that. I've tried, I've tried everything. You know what? I'm gonna just be fucking Jeff Deloach. J D Nija, word of truth. Do you think I? You think I'm gonna turn back now? Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh power, then understood I their end. Surely you did set them in slippery places, and you cast them down into destruction. Do you think he gave me this, this poem, this song, this psalm, for any other reason to, to, than to build up my heart so that I know, you know what? Y'all are screwed. You all are screwed. That don't listen. I'm not. I'm not bringing you donuts and coffee, and setting up a te- up my own temple and and having you come in there and give me money. No. Make you feel better. Go back out in the world and and do whatever you have to do. Just, just come in here and give me your money, and I'll um I'll tell you something that makes you feel good. That you're okay. That you're going to make it. No. I'm not doing that. Ain't happening. Thou castest them down to destruction. Bam. How are they brought into destruction? In desolation. As in a moment. They are utterly consumed with terrors. I have no idea why someone would call at 8.20 in the morning from 3.23 and then hang up. Anyhow, the devil. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. You know why he's gonna destroy y'all that aren't that that don't want to ride with me? I mean, either if the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't, be be glad it doesn't. When he awakens, he's gonna despise these wicked fuckers' image. He's gonna be like. Oh my God. Boom. 
<sighs> Thus my heart was grieved and I was pricked in my reins. Pricked, in, pricked means um, pierced in my mind. I am losing my mind trying to get people to wake the hell up. This ain't no plant. This ain't no goofing around. I might make fun of it. This ain't no mud club. No CBGBs. I ain't got time for that now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, whatever. I try and make it fun. I try and make it entertaining. But the bottom line is this ain't no fucking mud club. No CBGBs. It's not time to dance and party. It's time to fucking get serious. I'll be back. I'm going to finish ranting so I can get on with my day.